We live in a, an increasingly digitized world, and, and in this world of information, almost everything we do results in data being created and stored somewhere. We might be watching a movie, we might be purchasing a book, we might be listening to music. All of that data is stored somewhere. And it's not just limited to our online activities. In the world of the sensor web and the internet of things, things that we're doing in the real world are also creating data. We might be exercising in the park, we might be shopping for groceries, falling asleep, even taking a shower. Again, data has been stored, it's been captured, and that data can be used in some very interesting ways. So people talk about this big data revolution. How big is big data? Well, if you took all of the words that were ever spoken by human beings, think about that for a moment, all of the words ever spoken since civilization began and transferred them all into one big, huge text file, that text file would be about five exabytes in size. That's a huge amount of information. But we're creating that amount of new information every single day in the world of big data. So that gives you some sense of how much data is being produced every minute, every second of every day. And this data has the potential to tell us a huge amount about ourselves, about how we live our lives, about our societies, about our governments. So there's huge power for this data to help us make better decisions better decisions about where we live, better decisions about what to eat and how to exercise, better decisions about where to send our kids to school, better decisions by our governments about where to invest their valuable um, resources and infrastructure, better decisions by businesses about the products that may, they need to develop to meet consumer demands and needs. And in Insight, we're interested in figuring out the right way to use this big data to make better decisions, the responsible way to use this big data. Not just how we should use the data, but whether we should use the data and for what purposes. And if we get this right, then the possibilities are hugely exciting because we really do have the potential to create a better, safer, fairer, and more productive society for us all.